Hello all, welcome to the castle today, Batwoman, Season 2, Episode 3. Let's get into it. For the most part, this episode was a snore fest. I will, however, give this, this episode credit where credit is due. Victor Zaz was actually pretty good. With that being said, let me clarify one thing. The standard for this show, the bar, is pretty much on the ground. So, all they have to do is step over the bar. So, it's not like they're, you know, breaking records or anything like that. Uh, but for the most part, the fact I remember the guy's name is proof alone that this, this episode was at least decent by Batwoman standards. And the way she beat him was lame. Let's 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 be honest with it. Uh, there was other stuff that was lame. Little callbacks of the shoes being too big for her to begin with. Yeah, you know. But uh, on, like I said, I'm still I'm still on the side of that. This actress is way better than Ruby Rose. There again, that bar's not set very high. Um, other stuff that they are working into. Uh, all the bad guys in the show are white so far. It's and it's starting to get annoying. Uh, not not that I care uh, if that's what I mean. These people right in this show is literally Christmas now for these people. Every day is Christmas, and even though this show's views are dropping off, Rotten Tomatoes, which let's face it, Rotten Tomatoes is a joke. Uh, it depends on how much bankroll you got, whether or not you can pay them to get the, you know, the the, the score higher. Obviously, Disney can afford it. Uh, they can't. They got renewed for a third season, which, thank you. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, EFAP's look into this uh, to, just to see... Uh, the inconsistency of this show is just nothing less than <sighs> nonsensical. Maybe I, I don't. I don't know a word that would fit it. She can't even get her voice right when she has the mask on. Sometimes she sounds normal. Sometimes she doesn't. And I and I didn't say nothing about that last episode just to see if they're at least they're consistent up to the point they don't know how they want her to sound or she don't. It's just stupid. But all in all, I Victor's ass was I was actually pulling for him and like I said, the way she beat him just it's amazing. She can't handle women at all. I like it's an even fight. But when it comes to a guy that is bigger than her, stronger than her, she kicks their ass like they don't even belong in the same room. It's just so stupid. And anyway. But that's all I've got for this episode. Looking forward to the next episode just to see how much more crazy this gets. Because it's getting crazier by the episode, but it's just boring how they're stretching some of this stuff out. Another thing to that note, I'll add this. Uh, Kate Kane is now supposedly alive. I'm wondering if they've got, if they're going to recast that. You know, it'll be interesting. Personally, I would love, <laughs> I would love. For cake, for them to recast Ruby Rose, bring her back and be a evil Batwoman, that would be on and see them fight. They could have five episodes probably of them two fight, and I, it would just be funny as just all get it. They're not going to do that, but uh, I would love to see it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next video. Epic night. Please like and subscribe.